Woo! Yeah! Well, howdy doody there, ladies and gentlemen. Today on Exploring Limitations, we're going to be taking a look at the TR-505 and how you can affect its sound using only techniques relating to pitch. Here we go. The Roland TR-505. It's a drum machine. Uh, I've been getting some flack across the interwebs uh, it's a very emotionally charged uh, drum machine uh, for a lot of people. Uh, there's a good number of you who see it, that I'm using it and you go like, Holy crap, that is the biggest piece of crap. And, uh, and then there's another chunk of you who are, have such affinity. You're like, Oh, I love the 505. Oh. And for me, it's a hand-me-down from my dad. It's the only drum machine that I've ever owned. It's the only one that I know. And in the spirit of exploring limitations, I really, really have just been trying to dig into the 505 uh, to figure out, oh, what, what can we do here? Uh, it took me forever uh, to even begin to learn how to program it. Uh, probably the first, at least, uh, probably the first 10 made-on-tape tunes uh, were made using factory drum patterns that uh, that I would play and 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 uh, uh, in real time. You could do cool things with it. You can make you can play in odd time meters. You can uh, me metric modulate. This video is not exactly about the ins and outs of the 505 itself, but more about how do you take something uh, with with relative little variation and ability to to tweak how do you tweak it even more how do you do that uh and the 505 is a perfect presentation uh for me as like well what do i do and this video we're going to uh look at how to affect its pitch essentially through th uh, three different three different methods uh one we're going to be using the uh, digitech whammy which, uh, hello, it's awesome. If you don't have one, I recommend looking into it. You can find them. Thank you, everyone. Ja I mean, Jack White and Tom Morello are two of my favorite musicians. Uh, that, that whammy is a key. Anyway, <laughs> all right, I said three. Uh, three things we're going to look at. We're going to play it through the whammy, see what happens. Uh, I'm going to show you using the Tascam uh, Porta 2 uh, VeraSpeed itself, uh, which I've already used in the past. And then we're going to uh, take a look at the... We're going to take a look at the reel-to-reel -reel and see what we can um, accomplish uh, with pitch uh, by messing around with that after the fact. And I'll, I'll show you some cool stuff there. Uh, so let's just get into it. I'm going to be sticking to uh, this beat that I programmed, I think, on the last song. And that beat sounds like this. Huh. Um, so there you go. Uh, and I've got it at a up, kind of up tempo for a reason that we'll find out later. So let's begin. Let's uh, see what happens. Let's throw it through the whammy. Let's check it out. So first of all, let's go into uh, octave up mode. All right, here we go. All right, that's kind of a cool electric sound. Let me hear that again, just in the up, uh, up an octave. Ah. Cool. Huh. That's kind of how I perform uh, these songs. Um, so that's cool. Um, that's already. Now you've already gotten two two sounds. I haven't changed the drum beat. You know, I haven't I haven't done anything. Uh, that's up an octave. And oh, what does two what does two octaves sound like? Let's find out here. Same beat. Two octaves. Neat. 
<laughs> I kind of like that one. <laughs> um, let's move on. I'm just having fun. You guys, I'm literally just exploring with you. We're exploring together. This is a TR-505 through a whammy. All right, how about, uh, what is that? This is uh, up a fifth, so this might be mo uh, more reasonable. Those were both pretty extreme uh, drum sounds, but how does this sound? I could hear that happening like as, as your main beat and dropping. Excellent. Very, very cool. All right, let's find out what a fourth. A fourth is probably subtly different. All right, that's, that's kind of subtly different. I think we're now beginning to enter the realm of downward. Yeah, downward motion. So this is going to be down a second. Uh, I apologize if, if uh, anyone out there has any music theory questions. Leave them in the comments below. Because <laughs> I'm just throwing out terms, musical terms, like I'm assuming you know them. Uh, a second, a third, a fourth. These are intervals uh in music just telling how to re how things re how a pitch relates to another pitch so you know la la that's a step that's a that's or a second la 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 that's a la 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 that's a major third these all have names these different intervals and this whammy uh, can shift in those intervals. And so right now we're gonna shift down a second. Here we go. It should probably just sound slightly fatter, I would think. Let's check it out. You know, it's it wasn't until the other day I thought of even putting the 505 through the, wha the whammy and you know, the thing that I love about the whammy is it's got that, that glitchiness to it. Um, again, Jack White and uh, Tom Morello are famous users of it. And, um, and it kind of lends itself well to, the, to this drum machine because, uh, you know, it's not perfect. It's weird. Um, so it becomes really pitchy. Like, you actually hear the tone. And so I don't, you know, some of this is not necessarily uh, gold record winning stuff but um you get you're getting some variations here you might as well keep going down the line i guess here we are at, at a, a fourth down oh that kick drum is floppy I like playing with the, the pedal a bit. There we go. Oh, sweet. Cool. I like that. That was fun. What are we down a fourth? Let's go down a fifth. This is going to start to sound really floppy. Sorry, my microphone's falling, but I don't care. It's a very crappy stand. All right, down a fifth. Cool. All right, next. Next. What do we got? Down an octave. This is going to probably start to sound weird. All right. That's fun. 
down two octaves. Oh my God, what's going to happen? Uh, let's check it out. Woo! Yeah! Oh, I like that. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I actually like that a lot. That's kind of a, a weird, a weird lo-fi sound. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This that was that was close to to what this is about to be. This next setting on the on the whammy is called dive bomb, and uh, it sounds really cool on a guitar. And I think it's gonna sound really cool on the TR 505 Roland drum machine. All right, get ready for dive bomb. Wow, so that's just... That's just the Roland TR505 and the Digitech whammy pedal. Um, that's that's already that already just that was one beat. I didn't mess with the drum beat at all. Uh, uh, I I think you can already begin to see how we're exploring the limitations and uh, and how you can you know don't you know don't feel constrained because. It's always something. There's something to explore. All right, moving on to the second form of uh, drum pitch alterations. Is, and I've done this before. Uh, this is where you start having to plan ahead a little bit. So the Tascam Porta 2 comes equipped with a pitch, uh, very pitch c control, which basically is just a speed control. So sometimes uh, in the past I've recorded the drum beat fast and then played it back uh, slow. So let's hear what that sounds like. So as you can hear, uh, it obviously changes the tempo as well. Um, so that's not necessarily the best uh, just change in technique, but I did use that in the beginning of the tune, Silly, uh, that loop that's it's not it's not actually a loop it sounds like a loop but it isn't it's all performed live uh in the beginning section uh is I, I raise the pitch and then when the drum fill comes in i hold it down as you can see right here okay apologies for the appearance and sonic change but here we are at part three i i recorded the same drum beat uh into this reel to reel and uh, I record, there's two speeds to this reel to reel. Sorry, I'm rewinding it back to the spot. All right, that's our counter. Um, there's two speeds, as you can, there we go. High and low. That's it. That's all you got. So I recorded the drum beat. I recorded the drum beat at a uh, high speed, and we're gonna see what, what it sounds like when we slow it down. Let's check it out. It should be sick, bro. kind of has that uh, lo-fi hip-hop sound almost. Now, I also recorded that same drum beat at a low speed, and we can speed it up to see what that sounds like. Although normally you'd plan ahead and actually do something interesting, so that's kind of a fast beat to double in time, but, you know, for the sake of experimentation, let's try it out.
Wow, feel that kick drum. Feels good, right? Okay, back to you, other made on tape man. Well, there you have it. Here, uh, that's the um, that's uh, exploring limitations of the 505 and uh, using just just pitch techniques. You know, there's other things you can do with the 505. I put it through delay pedals. I put it through um, filters and and stuff like that. So I think there's a whole lot you can do to mess with the sound. It's tricky because you know the balance of the individual drums, the kick and the snare and all that is all, you can't control those individually. So you have to be, you have to commit to some weird stuff. And uh, with that note, again, everyone, please stay safe. Uh, please stay aware. Please be engaged. You know, there's a lot going on on planet Earth and a lot going on here in the U.S. And uh, I wish everyone the absolute best. And um, I... Uh, I study, I play, I, I live, I, I play black American music and seeing, uh, you know, living my whole life, seeing what that community goes through on a daily basis is uh, horrifying. And uh, we need to all be aware and, that's, uh, uh, and speak about it and do what we can. If there's links that you can check out. Uh, and please do. Um, you know, it's not a political issue. It's a morality issue. So that all being said, thank you again for tuning in. I very, very much appreciate it. And uh, you all have a fantastic time and take care. Be safe. Be well. Thank you. Drum, 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 drum on a machine. Phaser vocals. Ah, yeah.